Hey folks, that fix it guy here, and I'm back out at the problem hose bib. Man, I can't wait to replace this thing. Well, here's what we got today. When I turn this on, you see I got water coming out the stem. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this quick, easy, hopefully. So come along, let's get to fix it. Personally, I think you just, before we try to turn that back on, we'll remove this key and we will grab a big adjustable jaw wrench. You could actually grab the appropriate size, which I don't know what that is, maybe one inch or three quarter inch, and you could get a opened in wrench, but you definitely wanna use something like this. You could maybe use channel locks if you wanted to, but honestly, this is plastic. Like, if you look at this, you can see this is not the most quality hose bib. We are going to replace this, but I want to wait until fall to do that because we have to cut into my daughter's wall in her bedroom and I don't really want to start that kind of a project this summer. Okay, so with this adjustable jaw, we'll take it, we'll slide it all the way to the back. We'll get that a nice, tight, firm fit on it. And what we're going to do is just slowly turn it just a little bit. You do not have to turn this a lot. It's a packing nut. If it loosens back up, well, then you can just turn this a little bit more. You want to just go a little bit and try it. So let's just do that and we'll give it a shot here. Uh, nope, still leaking. So let's just leave it on for a second and see if we can actually get it to stop leaking. Uh, no, we can't because that really ain't gonna tighten anymore. All right. That didn't work. Check it out, they just put it, they put something new on my meter where they can just come and scan it, fill it up with a bunch of wood chips. Um, I don't actually have a shut off to my house. So I come out to my meter for right now. When I open up the wall to fix this hose bib, I'm gonna probably install a shutoff valve to my house too. Another reason why I don't wanna do it in the summertime because I gotta get in the crawl space. Okay, now the water's off. I'll just turn this on. We will grab our adjustable jaw wrench. Remember, all the way to the back. I'll just get this piece off. So this is a generic hose bib. It's got no labeling on it. I don't know who makes it at all, which is a real bummer. So this part could be kind of hard to find. It's not a traditional style of packing. You can see, you see that's concave down in there and it's just like a cone washer fits down in there. So set that right there we'll pull this out you can see that right there this is like a cone washer we're actually going to take this whole piece up to the store i only need this cone washer but i want to make sure that i get the right size you can see the inside of that is ate up pretty good it's starting to show the fabric and so we're going to get a new one of these it's like a half packing half washer setup so we're going to actually just go see if we can get a new cone washer for this in the same size. So we're at the store and we're looking for this cone washer right here. I got Logan fix it holding the camera for me. And really the only kind of that material type washer that we find is a bonnet packing. So we can't go with that. You can see right here that there is, there's not really any cone style for this type. So, we're just gonna go over here to the cone washers, actually. We're gonna get up in here, and we're gonna try one of these. We're gonna see if we can find something right here, this size, that's gonna work for this. Okay, so I found this J-cone washer, is what it's called, 3 8 tube. Pop this out, and it actually looks really similar, right? If we line up these bottoms, they actually are the same width. We line up the top and they are the same. We line up the top and they are the same width as well. So hopefully, so hopefully this works for us. Okay, so we're back from the store with the J cone washer. This is for 3 8 tube. This is essentially 3 8 tubing right here. 
So I'm really hoping that this is gonna work for us. Take this and we'll just pop this on. This is a pretty tight fit, which I'm excited about. It's kind of what you want. And we'll just see how well this works. Get it put down to the end of it where it's supposed to be. Get this slide back in here. I wish there was some kind of literature, some kind of number even on this thing. There is just not. And it is a bummer, dude. It's just a very aftermarket setup. I really couldn't find much on. Get this piece put back in here. Get that tightened down. Hand tight as much as we can. Take our adjustable jaw. That's pretty good. Not super crazy tight. We'll put the key in there and we'll open this up. I don't want to open it. It's already tighter. I can feel it tighter. So hopefully it's going to work out really well. I'm just going to crack this. You want to make sure it's open. And then I'm going to go turn the water on. All right. Well, you can hear the water flowing, but we've got none going on right there. Awesome. That is great. So if we just crank this on, you can see I got water shooting out of there, but there's none coming out of here anymore. That J cone washer worked out well for us. All right, folks. So it's funny how one little washer can just cause you headaches with your hose bib, right? This actually happened to be essentially like a J cone packing type washer that caused us an issue with this. All right, and so now it's good to go. This generic one, when I replace this, I actually will put a brand name in there. That way I know when something goes wrong, I can get parts for it and I know what they'll be. I'm waiting till fall to do this because really I wanna open up my wall. I wanna put a shut off valve in there. I'll show you guys all that stuff. I just wanna do it when it's a little bit cooler, all right? Nobody likes getting in their crawl space, especially not me. And I don't want to do it until it's a little bit cooler outside. So we really hope you guys are enjoying the channel. We really hope you're finding it helpful. If you could please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again real soon.